Hey everyone, so today we're going to be talking about buffers, and buffers are really important in both the chemistry world and the biology world. So buffers are seen mostly in our blood because they keep, uh, they maintain our pH at a steady rate. So if there's anything that enters the blood, um, the buffers are there to make sure that the pH doesn't change uh, that much. So what buffers are really made of are basically conjugate acids and bases. An example of this would be with um, a salt, so let's say NAF and uh, HF, which is a weak acid. So when you have a solution of NAF, uh, that's going to result in a solution with Na plus ions and F minus ions. But when we add HF into that solution, we now have HF, which is a weak acid, weak acid, and F minus, which is its conjugate base. There's also an equation called the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, which is really useful when you're um, doing calculations with buffers. So what the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation looks like is pH equals pKa plus the log of concentration of the uh, base over the concentration of the conjugate acid. So if a question ever asks you about the ratio of the base to the acid, you can use the um, Henderson-Hasselbalch equation for that. So they would usually give you the pH and the Ka, and then you would just take the lo negative log of the Ka to give you pKa, and then you would subtract pKa from both sides of the equation, so you get pH minus pKa equals the log of concentration of the base over concentration of the acid. And then from there, to get rid of the log, you would just do um, 10 to the pH minus pKa equals uh, this whole ratio. Also, notice that whenever our uh, concentration of A minus over HA, whenever these two are the same, whenever we have uh, one thing and the same thing as a denominator, that always ends up simplifying to one. So the log of one is just zero. So that means when we have the same concentration of base and its conjugate acid, then pH equals pKa. Just a handy little thing for you to know.